Welcome back to the Madden 2005 Oakland Raiders franchise. The NFL Player of the Weeks, both are Saints, Deuce McAllister and Jeremiah Trotter. You know this game is over when your son is about to get drafted. Rudy Johnson, he was the AFC Player of the Week on offense, and DJ Williams with the hits. He is the offensive or defense, excuse me, Player of the Week for the AFC. The Titans are 2-0, Jets and Broncos are 2-0. We are number seven right now in the AFC, followed by the Colts, Bengals, Texans, Bills, Chargers, Chiefs, Chargers, Dolphins, Jaguars, and the Patriots are at the bottom. What's happening, New England? The Saints are unbeaten. The Rams are unbeaten. The Cowboys and the Panthers are also unbeaten, followed by the Packers, Seahawks, Bears, Vikings. Those are your top eight teams going to the bottom. You got the Falcons at 0-2 and the Giants at 0-2 as well. Today's opponent is the Buccaneers Super Bowl rematch. This was the beginning of the end. If you ask me for the Oakland Raiders. It might have started in that Super Bowl, like we all know that, but this game, uh, in real life, you had Tim Brown playing for the Buccaneers. That was awkward watching that. I don't think he really got any playing time, but he was definitely wearing their colors. I remember that. Rich Gannon got smacked by Derrick Brooks. I believe he broke a vertebrae, maybe broke his neck someplace. Um, and yeah, his career was basically done after that. So we're gonna try to rewrite history by getting a win here. Versus the Tampa Bay Bucks. This game is built for teams like the Bucks and the Ravens that still have great defenses, even though Sapp is on our team and John Lynch is a Bronco. The Buccaneers defense is still very, very good. We're going to have to make sure that we protect the football as Namdi comes screaming off the edge to give Brad Johnson the business. We're going to give this one to Dave Moore. The tight end works his way upfield, but not enough to move those chains. So we're going to take over. Surrendering no points so far. Our defense is actually pretty darn good as well. That pass caught by Tim Brown, where he should be. Third down and four. Gannon fires that thing. It's going to be caught. Jerry Porter. He is definitely the guy that we go to because he's the best receiver on the roster. We still got to respect Tim Brown and Jerry Rice. Obviously, as Porter fumbles. And McFarlane, big booger. He up there with the fumble recovery. But I think Porter was down, so we're going to throw that red hanky. Because Porter, again, he's our best receiver. Got to get him going so he can develop for the future years of this franchise. But Jerry Rice and Tim Brown are still very, very capable receivers that deserve to get their, ta their, their targets excuse me, as well. Anyways, there goes Wheatley to the left side. And Wheatley will pick up a first down. We're going to give it to Wheatley again. And the blocking breaks down there. That's Corals with the stop. Now second down and 11. Now we throw it to Porter. That pass is broken up. Third down now. Third down and long. They send a corner on the blitz. I believe that's Kelly. That's going to get to Rich Gannon. And this drive comes to a screeching halt. Up the gut goes Charlie Garner, the one-time Raider. Picks up a, guy, a gain of around five. Sapp gets in it, but he can't bring down Brad Johnson. And then Charles Woodson gets beat by Keenan McCardell. First and 10. Play fake. Johnson pump fake and throwing it caught by McCardell again. Yo, this ain't Jacksonville, bro. He playing like he in his prime. So we do get the Brad Johnson on the next play as Ted Washington laying the lumber, and that pass goes incomplete. They go up the gut with Garner, setting up third down and seven. We come on the 3-4 defense, and we get the stop with Rod Woodson on Michael Pittman Sr. The guy set up for a field goal kick is up, and the kick is good. So the only thing I may adjust moving forward is the pass blocking of the computer because so far we do not have too many uh, pressures, too many hurries on the quarterback, and we definitely ain't got no sacks so far this season. So, again, I'm not trying to give myself too much of an advantage at all. That would be the only thing I adjust now, adjust it just ever so slightly as we find Porter yet again, 44 receiving yards, 24 of those yards after the catch. Going down in the hands is that Brooks? Derek Brooks with the sacks. We are being harassed. Doug Jolly makes the catch, and that's going to be a first down. Nice play by Doug Jolly. I love the old school look. No gloves, no wristbands, no nada. That pass is going to be caught by Wheatley, and Wheatley's going to pick up a first down to end the first quarter of play. So this is the type of drive that we need because we're down by three. We're not trying to be down no more, and then your boy makes a mistake. Those in-cutting routes like that do not work as well in Madden 05 as they do in Madden 04 because the defense got a facelift in this game. Second down and three, Johnson fires it over the middle, caught by Dave Moore again, and Johnson is slowly putting together a nice game here, has a clean pocket, takes a shot deep to the rookie, and the LSU Tiger gets into the end zone. Clayton got behind Buchanan. 
I was not expecting that because Buchanan got that speed. The height advantage goes to Clayton, but the speed should go to Buchanan. But, hey, it is what it is, and we're down by 10 points. So we're going to need our offense to wake up and get into the end zone. We cannot turn the ball over because that's a recipe for disaster versus this Buccaneers defense, which, again, is still very, very good, led by Derrick Brooks. We're going to find Porter wide open, and he's going to make the catch for a first down, and they still got Rondé Barber, obviously, in the secondary. We're going to throw this one to the right side, and that pass caught, brought down by Sheldon Corals. We need about a yard right here. We're going to go for the whole enchilada, though. We get this one inside Buccaneers territory. And we're 10 of 12 so far today. One pick and one incompletion as we find Jerry Wright. Second down and four. We're going to go up the gut and Tyrone Wheatley up the middle for a first down. Second down and 10. Go right back to Porter right now. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's going to be a first down. We got to get this man going. He could have a very, very good career in this franchise. He kind of flamed out after they got Randy Moss, but everybody in the Raiders flamed out after they got Randy Moss, the big boss. Cannon going to fire that thing to Porter, and he's going to be shy of the end zone. And I'm going to take the three. We're going to get the ball first to start the second half. And I was like, if we don't walk away with, if we walk away with zero points, that would be a disaster. We walk away with 30, it's not as good as seven, obviously. But it's better than having zero up on the scoreboard. That pass is broken up. So our defense... Playing fairly well. Second down and 10. Johnson from a clean pocket. Been like that all night. Going to find Clayton again. Brought down by Walker. Now Johnson. Guess what? He's from another clean pocket. We did some blitz right there. But that leaves Mike Allstott wide open. He makes the catcher in good hands with Allstott. That pass caught by Clayton. And it's a rookie showcase for him. They drive down the field with a minute 20 on the clock. And they take a 10-point lead yet again. So we're down 13 to 3. So to start the second half, we do get the football first, but we need touchdowns now. And I love Janikowski. We've, you know, we've worked on our relationship. And, uh, yeah, field goals would be nice, but a touchdown is what we need, though. Okay, so second down and 10. Coming out with that 11 personnel. Wide, one tied in three receivers. And we're going to work our way upfield with Tyrone Wheatley. He is just not fast. And I'm, I'm scared to use Fargus. As crazy as that sounds, we throw the ball to him right there, but he, he's not going to get his hands on the football. It gets broken up. Because his fumbling, his carry is not that great. But I think we have to be more balanced right now. We're kind of too pass happy as of right now. And I will adjust the time length to seven-minute quarters uh, to get the run game some more opportunities as well. Right now, we're playing on six-minute quarters. A lot of the times, as that pass is broken up, we're going to take back over. I do 10 minutes with the accelerated clock. But I feel like the accelerated clock changes the way that the game is played. And I'm trying to have this as, a, as its core game because it's a great game. I'm not trying to mess with it too much. Anyways, that pass caught by Tim Brown. And then it's dropped by Tim Brown. Third down and 10. Gannon. Looking downfield, and that can't happen. We ran, we should have ran the ball one of those times, and we didn't. Three straight pass plays, three straight incompletions, and now Keenan McCardell continues to take Charles Woodson to score. Garner to the right side, and Gibson is there for the stop. So we do hold him to a field goal. So we're still in this game. We are very much in this game, but my goodness gracious, we got to score on offense right now. It's not happening. Farkas up the gut. You see his speed allows us to get five yards instead of four yards and that's a big difference going from third and six to third and five if you ask me and it could very well be third and four as you find number 84 and that's gonna be a first down right there looking for jerry rice makes the catch brought down from behind by ronde barber now we're gonna roll right and we're gonna get hit from behind by simeon rice gannon looking and we can't do this, and we just did it. Intercepted by Ian Gold, the ex-Bronco. And, again, that can't happen. That's 100% on me. We have time to make a better decision, to throw the ball away, to let our defense, you know, have a longer field to play with. But now it's a short field. That pass is incomplete. Third down and seven. They empty the backfield. Brad Johnson, again, from a clean pocket, throws it. And Charles Woodson, I love you. My, one of my favorite players, especially college players. One of my favorite college players of all time. He might be let go. I don't know. I don't want to do that because he's a great player, but he getting beat like it's nobody's business. They go up the gut with there with the stop. I believe that's Clark with the stop. Third down and 10. Johnson fires it. That pass nearly intercepted by Namdi. Tight coverage on Mike Allstop, but we need you to make that catch, sir. They got to set up for yet another field goal. Kick is up, and the kick is good. It has been a field goal type game. A field goal type game. If we don't have those turnovers as we fumble it here, it could be a different game. And then I go to challenge it, y'all, and, and, and they rob me. 
I guess Raider fans have always been telling the truth. The NFL has something against the Oakland Raiders, Vegas Raiders, LA Raiders. Whichever they are, wherever they're from, they got a they got an issue with the league, and the league has an issue with them. First and goal, play fake. Brad to the back of the end zone, caught but out of bounds. So third and goal. They're gonna run the ball with Gardner, and Gibson is there for another stop, and I'm loving that. I really am loving that. Gibson is he's like he's playing for his job. We got the rookie from Purdue. Uh, but Gibson's like, hey, I'm here to stay. And I think he might be, man. So we might move a Woodson, not Rod, because he's about to retire. But maybe Charles will play free safety for us moving forward. I'm, I'm not quite sure. We're going to figure out how things play out. Porter makes the catch right there. That's going to be a gain of nine. Gannon fires it to Rice. The old man still got it. And that's going to be a first down there. Gannon looking, still looking, redirecting Tyrone Wheatley who makes the catch, but that speed is not there. It is non-existent. Not only is the speed not there, the acceleration is at zero at this point. Gannon, he's running. 15, out of bounds at the 13-yard line. That's a first down using his feet. Going to find Tim Brown. That should be a first down, and it is. So first and goal up the gut with Wheatley. Touchdown Raiders. All right. So I'll start up the gut on third down. Down, we had him in third down and around 10, and they give it to all Scott who picks up a first down. They give it to him again, brought down by Napoleon Harris by the face mask, five yarder. Third down and three, they give it to all Scott who picks it up. And Mike all Scott, you're yo, he's such an animal. Just give it to him up that gut, all Scott up the gut. But it's Garner up the gut, he gets dealt with by Smith. Third down and six, I formation, and Sap gets in there for a TFL. Not a sack. It's not going to be ruled a sack, but they're on field goal range, or are they? Dramatica's kick is up, but it is shy. So we're down by 12 points. We need to score quickly and go for the onside kick, obviously. Gannon doing a great, a great job there. The pressure was just wearing down on him, but he was able to get the ball to Porter. Right here, he gets the ball to Brown, and we're cooking with Grease Grandpa's recipe. That pass caught. It's going to be a first down move those chains. So we're inside the 20. Can we capitalize by getting this one inside the end zone? And we go, we gotta do something like throw the ball away. Instead, Simeon Rice with another sack there, his second of the contest. That pass caught by Rice. And we're looking at third down the four, 45 seconds on the clock and throw this one to Porter. And Porter gets smacked out of bounds. So first and goal, getting a quick slant to Tim Brown. That's a touchdown and we're down by five. Going for the onside kick, the accuracy was not there, but I guess it really didn't matter. It's going to be recovered, and that's going to be the ball game, man. 22 to 17, we did come back, but at the end of the day, we fell flat when it came to scoring when we needed to. Three turnovers is not going to get the job done. Two interceptions by me and Rich Gannon, that can't happen. We got to do a better job protecting the football. Um, and yeah, but with that fumble by Cole on the kick return, that can't happen either. So hey. It was just a rough day at the office. But again, like I said, want to be fully transparent with this series. I may adjust the pass blocking of the computer, but that'll be it. And it's going to be slightly. I'm not going to like put it at zero so we can get some sacks. That's not what I'm looking for. I just noticed that we're not really getting any kind of pressure or any kind of sacks the first three games of this franchise. But that'll be the only thing. And then moving the quarter length from six to seven so that the running game can have a better chance to develop. Anyways, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do hope that the rest of the day is the best day. Peace, love. Hot sauce.